Hi guys, my name is Creepers and today I'm bringing you guys a more updated tutorial for Maeve and the game Paladins. I created another one a few time ago but it was outdated already. Take attention that this tutorial is to teach people how to get better with her and not to how to make you a pro with her. It can be used for all platforms so if you are in the PlayStation 4 or Xbox this is also good for you. Now the first thing you need to know, Maeve is a close medium range champion, it can deal high damage really fast and can also run either away from the enemy or towards him. She can easily infiltrate the back lines of the enemy team but at the same time she is extremely vulnerable to damage that she can take unless you have a damage reduction deck. You can have a bunch of different decks with Maeve, okay? One of, for self-healing, one for damage reduction, one that focuses on Prowl, one that can focus on Pounce and so on. All depends on the game style that you are interested in playing with her. As for her first ability, her normal damage ability is a pair of knives that can deal between 400 to 800 damage, based on the number of knives you hit in an enemy of course, unless you are using a talent that increases the damage of your normal attacks after using Prowl. Her second ability is Pounce. With Pounce you basically can dash forward and if you connect with an enemy you can deal 400 damage. Or if you are using the talent called Street Justice, you can deal up to 1000 or more based on the missing health of your enemy. This ability can also be used to reposition yourself in the map. It is not mandatory that every time you use it, it is to attack an enemy every single time. This attack is also a melee, by the way, and certain counter abilities cannot stop it at all, like the Fernando Shield, the Andrew Reversal or even the Terminus Absorption ability. Her third ability is Prowl and Prowl basically allows you to run up to 50% more speed than normal and jump higher for 4 seconds. This ability is very good to reposition yourself or to either run towards an enemy. This ability can also be used with cars that can increase that 50% speed or even increase the time of its duration. Just a small fast tip, you can use this ability to run in any direction, even backwards. As for her fourth ability, 9 lives, this pretty much resets the cooldown of the previous two abilities, Prowl and Pounce, and has a cooldown of 20 seconds, which is a lot, you can reduce the cooldown of this ability with cards. Her final ability and also her ultimate is Midnight. With this ult, you can blind people up to 300 feet, which is a lot for 4 seconds. This may look like not much, but it can be pretty good to save your team or to kill the enemy at the last second. This ult can also be countered by resilience and be reduced up to 2 seconds instead of the 4 initial seconds. Gassy ult is also a very good counter since even blinded, everyone can on our team see the enemy team, aka your team. As for her talents, she has four talents which are called Artful Dodger, Cab Burglar, Rogue's Gambit and Street Justice. The first talent, Artful Dodger, is used for defensive playstyle and it goes better in game where there is a lot of crowd control in the enemy team like stuns, slows, cripples and so on. If timed correctly, you can even release yourself from a Mahakoa's hook, a Ceres ultimate and so on. This talent is no longer one of the best since it can be countered by Cauterize once it does heal you for 400 every time you use 9 lives, being the CC immunity the only good thing about it. You can even buy resilience to actually replace this talent. A good deck for this talent involves in using 5 points in the card called On Edge since it does reduce the cooldown of 9 lives. Also. Buying Chronos in game is also a pretty good addiction. As for her second talent, Cat Burglar, you deal 30% extra damage in your first two attacks after using Prowl. As you may know, while using Prowl, if you attack during it, it cancels. But if you manage to hit with your first two knife attacks on somebody, the damage dealt to an enemy per knife will go above 500 making you deal above 2000 damage in just two simple attacks. Pay attention that one attack consists on throwing two knives and it's not one attack per knife. So in total you have to use four knives. If you miss any of the attacks, you pretty much just lost that extra damage in one of the attacks. My suggestion to this deck for using this talent, like the one before, the card on edge, which with five points can reduce up to five seconds on nine lives, is a pretty good addition since you are gonna need it for 
reducing the cooldown of Prowl since you have no other cards to reduce the cooldown of Prowl. Also, don't forget to buy Kronos. As for her third talent, Rogue's Gambit, every elimination resets the cooldown of Pounce and you deal extra 10% on every Pounce. That means you deal 440 damage per Pounce instead of just the initial 400. And you don't necessarily need to kill someone with, with the Pounce. Just killing somebody with your knives will do for the Pounce reset to work. In this situation, you can use a deck with On Edge, again, since you can have the Pounce reset it a bunch of times. It's not really necessary to have less time in that ability, of course. Although, that is entirely up to you, you guys can use whatever you want. You can use a deck with 9 lives cooldown reduction or Pounce reduction, or just completely focus on damage reduction while using Pounce, and also healing for every Pounce you successfully hit on an enemy. In this situation, you can just focus on Cauterize and Resilience if the enemy has a lot of crowd control and so on. As for her fourth and final talent, and also the most used talent by Pro Maves and so on, Street Justice. With this talent, you deal more damage based on the health that your enemy is missing on the time of impact. It is advised to use this card mostly against two or three tanks in the enemy team, but you can use it in any situation, of course. If you see a tank with almost half of its health gone, Go for it, you can deal up to 1200 damage or more depending on its health, of course. In this situation I advise either going with both 9 lives and pounce for cooldown reduction or damage reduction while using pounce again, since you are going to be more into the fight. As for Dex, you should study her cards and create one that is more suitable for you. In the description I will leave a bunch of different good related Paladins websites that can provide you with good loadouts for every single situation, even updated by every patch, and even counter tips, or, or just tips in general for you to use her. As for tips and tricks that I can provide to you guys, the first thing that I can tell you guys, for example, is that try to attack at medium long range first with knives and use pounce in more situations, close range situations. Although the knives have a fall off with distance, their damage is always the same, so you can attack at long distance while remaining close to your healers and other teammates so they don't get caught by other flanks. You can also use pounce to run away and relocate yourself. Imagine that somebody comes from the back and you still have a pounce available. Don't need to use it against that person unless he's really low. If he's full health and you already took half of your health, you know, it's more advised to actually run away and use pounce looking up or looking left or right to try to run away from this flank that is trying to kill you or anybody else. Her ultimate can also be a game changer as you can help your teammates survive and or help them kill the enemy team. You can also use it to counter enemy ults like Androxa's ult and so on. Just imagine an Androx is going on up to the sky trying to use his ultimate and you use your ultimate at the same time. He no longer has targets, so what can he do? He can't do anything. You can view on the ground a circle around your enemies that lets you know how far they can see during the ultimate, also allowing you to find some hitting enemies behind walls. A pretty good addition, actually. You can jump a third time after using Pounce. You just jump two times, use Pounce, and you have a third jump. This may look like nothing, but it can help you at least at, you know, a last case scenario, just trying to get that extra little jump to get to a ledge that it's really high up. Try jumping two times mostly near enemies also and on top of them since it's hard to aim at you while you are above them. The rest of the times don't jump two times too many often since you are gonna, you, you are slower in the air and you are gonna be caught by a sniper definitely. Also go into training grounds and train your long range attacks, combos, movability and different decks. Just train everything you can, uh, you know, the, the combos where you do knives, pounce, knives, or you're trying to use street justice, you need to use a lot more knives than just pounces, so you need to take away a little bit of the damage of somebody and then use pounce, so you go into training grounds, you train knives, knives, pounce, and then knives again, or so on. Just try to train also these combos while in air, just double jump on top of somebody and try to target people or even just train long distances while using the card that gives you extra damage after using Prowl. Just train the long distances so you can hit those attacks at long ranges as well. Also, this is a personal opinion. The healing card that heals you while prowling, it's probably the best healing card since you are running away while healing little by little. People are gonna be using Cauterize, but you have 4 seconds of healing while Cauterize only works for 1.5 seconds. Unless you're completely exposed and people can see you while using Prowl and they can target you all the time, 
it's a good thing to actually have this card since you can burn, run away and heal while running away. Then you just wait for the out of combat to actually pop up and just heal the rest of your life. A complete healing deck can be countered by Cauterize, so you should build a deck where there's more damage reduction, cooldown reduction and so on. Also not denying the fact that you can also use the card that I just mentioned before of the healing while prowling and maybe the only card of healing that you could use which cannot be completely countered so i would definitely go with damage reduction cooldown reduction in that card again careful with the crowd control by resilience if necessary instead of just going with r for dodger because you can be a flank and a damage with street justice at the same time you're not just filling a role of damage while being a flank you're doing both because you can flank and damage at the same time also, kill to heal is usually more effective than lifesteal, but try them, you know, just go try them out on the training grounds and see which one it's better for your playstyle, okay? That's pretty much all for the video today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helped you. I didn't want the video to be as long as last time, so I had it all written down so it would be faster and more precise so you guys wouldn't just have to be here listening to 20 minutes of me just mumbling the same thing over and over again. And just an extra thing, for anybody who feels like this tutorial is not complete, if you need other things, as I said before, go in the description, I'm going to be putting there three websites that deal, that give you a lot of decks that are actually updated, okay? This means that this tutorial is not going to be outdated as soon as the other tutorial that I have, because in the other tutorial I did show decks for you guys to use, but unfortunately, as long as the, the patches went by, a lot of cards change. Right now, Maeve has four damage reduction cards, which all all of them based on different uh, abilities and actually playstyles. One of them is even damage reduction while below 40% of your health. So you can use a lot of these cards compare like connected to the type of playstyle that you want. And going into these websites that I'm going to leave in the description, you can find different decks that actually can be related to the playstyle that you have. They even tell you what changes in the cards in the recent patch or something like that okay just go there they are voted people test them out so it's a lot a lot better there than me telling you just one or two decks and then you saying okay this deck is not related to me okay thank you so much for watching again uh don't forget to subscribe because i will be putting a lot of more videos of mave gameplays decks and so on even counter tips and you guys will learn throughout time also seeing gameplays and you know seeing a lot of different things that I may also learn with time, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if this helped. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye, guys.